My name is Clyde Diambo. I'm a graduate of leadership at Africa Life University. I did global challenges with the major governance. I'm also a fund and CEO of the Foundation, a youth-led non-government organization that aims at transforming the minds of young people into better persons. I'm the initiator and the current host of the annual business dinner, experience in Busia, and the great plans to make it a selling concept for the Eastern region. The ABD experience offers young people the platform to unleash their entrepreneurial mindset. The question on my mind has always been, how can we make young people empowered to fit in the 21st century world? The answer is that young people need information, empowerment, and an interesting environment, and the business dinner provides this. The business dinner allows them to learn from the seasoned entrepreneurs of the land. The Ministry of Labor, the Ministry of Gender, Labor, and Social Development estimates that 30,000 graduates come out of the job market annually from Ugandan universities, and only 9,000 are able to get into meaningful employment. That provides about 21,000 deficits. So every year we are having 21,000 graduates into the job market, but come unemployed. The annual business dinner seeks to lure young people and innovators into business. The ABD 224 aims to increase stakeholder collaboration to improve the quality and outcomes of the businesses in eastern Uganda. The dinner will offer a platform for investors and businesses to give a top-notch valid proposition about their businesses. Additionally, it will offer an opportunity for different stakeholders to dialogue and create linkages and partnership with different development partners. The EBD, the EBD 224 seeks to understand how businesses are streamlining operations and how prepared they are in case any pandemic hits the world just like COVID-19. Some of the recurring problems of our times, all key stakeholders, including but not, not limited to civil society organizations, investors, business owners, operators, and the government, need to adapt innovative solutions. And ABD 224 shares a platform for them to show how they are data solving these challenges through their product and services. And finally, to give the investors and business sector access to an exclusive audience and deliver impact in terms of liquid sales, visibility, and market share growth among others. With Busia and Eastern Districts being a good tax collection base because it is a strategic location, you have gone ahead to create a living environment that will make businesses in these locations thrive. Because the foundation is doing something, putting efforts to make sure that businesses in these locations discuss and forge a way forward. We are not doing much. We are doing what we can. We are adding a brick here, supporting young entrepreneurs grow. We are doing what we can to create a ground that we can have an impact generation of young people with a change attitude and a bit to challenge the status quo. With the commitment to creating empowered communities, with this concept, we shall be able to have businesses grow. Young people focus on growth priorities, be able to choose leaders with an informed point of view, and longer decide because of being bought for. PTPT PT gifts or alcohol or whatever from politicians. When the communities are empowered with cash flows, they are able to make informed and meaningful decisions, and that's the level of young people who aim to produce for our generation. There is that question about, about the youth being able to pay for, for this dinner. But particularly what we are doing is that we are creating a space where we are having engagements about issues that are affecting the communities that we serve. For example, Jitolezi, uh, Clyde has been telling us about what he has been doing. And um, because uh, the resources are meager, he says they can't close, but within our own community, we can try to gather uh, resources to be able to, to run the different programs, including skilling. So the issue of youth, is coming in at the results, the outcomes of this dinner, where we are able to reach out to the youth. Uh, someone is talking about the, the youth that are moving with salt from, from Kenya uh, to Uganda. But if we are able to, to reach out through skilling, that is how best we are going to, uh, to be um, beneficial to that kind, to that category of, of people. So the business dinner is bringing people like you, people like um, 
I mean companies who are able to contribute. We are here crying for those taxes which is not helping even. Even if they collect those taxes, they don't even benefit even somebody down of the country which benefits them. Because actually as you see, the traders are custom road here. We are paying taxes, we are not even benefiting. As you see, here we usually have the trades. People could come from Uganda here or from the sea are going to Kampala to trade. By now they no longer don't have to go to Kampala to trade. Because now you find the prices in the Kampala they are very high. And as they are saying that they are very high, they are complaining that the prices are very high because of the taxes. Now if somebody goes to trade from Kampala, when the things are very expensive, and somebody who is going to come to buy the things from here, is selling it at the side of Kenya, at cheap prices, how are we going to benefit from those taxes which are not going to pay for that? And here, mainly we stand on the taxes, we stand on the people who are coming from Kenya to come and buy the things. And now if they have the taxes which are very high, here we don't even sell. As you, you move around, you'll find the tax, they have this when they are empty. Traders are just seated along with their shops. We ask what are they even doing, and that's the benefit. By now, what can we do? Like recently, the president was called a trader to teach about the taxes. It could be the influence of the people of URA, like on the border, to teach the traders the taxes. How much are we supposed to pay? If like that, what can we do? And when you pay the taxes, we are going to benefit from that. But we don't have even somebody who can come. Here, like I say, we say we see a custom lord. I mean, we see a custom. It has called the supervisor, a loaner. Who could come along? They call the traders. We have the association. They teach us the way of paying the taxes. They look on the solutions in the way people are suffering, but they know they're not coming. So we ask them, what are we going to do if the taxes are just going high like that? So we inspire the government. We say, let the government come, come and listen for the problems people facing in the trades. People will be able to pay the taxes. And for more, 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 more many occasions, we requested our traders to come and register with us, okay? And formally import goods through the gazetted customs border point, okay? We have requested this, and we have simple import regimes that we use to facilitate small importers, okay? And we tried to educate. And now, this, now that we have this, this dinner as well, it will be a very good platform to actually disseminate this very information to the people that, okay, you know what, you are you're welcome. You don't need to use the forest borders to bring in your goods, okay? You have to come through the normal and gazetted customs border point. Processing of tax refunds, okay? So most of these benefits accrue to all people that use, that use the e-free system. So we shall have a taxpayer, we shall have some minutes of engaging and educating our people of how the system works and its benefits uh, to that, that accrue to those that actually register with us and also improves tax compliance in general. When you look at Busia, by the way, it is said that uh, almost 40 to 50 percent of the people currently living within the community of Busia here. Most of them have just bought land by the way. But they are not the natives of the land. The natives seem to be a bit far from, especially the municipality bit of Busia. So, uh, we believe, because of the increasing uh, number of these people coming in, most of them come and want to settle in these places, especially being a border. So as, a, as, as Fruget Ventures, we are here to enable them to have that access, one, to the land, uh, to, the, 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 to Busia as a district. Because uh, mostly when you're new in a place, you cannot just come in and buy land anywhere. There's a lot of fraud stuff, uh, fraud businesses that happen in borders. But because Fruget is here, Somebody comes with that trust and says, yeah, I can trust this company because they have been here.
to get for me either this land or that land in this location. So majorly we may we, we play that part of having these people have accessibility to this to Busia as a district. Oh,